Hello and welcome to another video. This time we're going to be looking at how to create a class in Fantasy Grounds. Um, now I should preface this by saying that in the current live version of Fantasy Grounds as of the date of this uh, video um, there are a couple of bugs which have been sorted out um, and the new version will be released uh, shortly. Uh, but at any, any rate uh, let's get started. We click on the library and we need our classes button. So we'll click on classes here and this brings up the class button uh, which we can then click on that and brings us up a fresh class window. Uh, open up the edit list and add a new class. And we will call this guy uh, a Highlander. Now this first page here um, is simply a text box if you like. It'll take all the kind of various formatted texts and things like that. Um, and it's really just a description of your class. It's nothing more than that. Nothing particularly hinges on this. So I've got some text that I've already prepared. So I'm just going to paste that in here and then we'll uh, tidy it up. And it just shows you that uh, the various kinds of text that this will take. Just the normal sort of text uh, that you would expect. Um, uh, we're going to make this little table here uh, so that you can just see that it kind of works just the same as you would work it with uh, the player's handbook. If you look at the player's handbook um, you'll see that this is the kind of format that is, is used here. So we're just entering a little table. Uh, we don't need to worry about this too much but uh, we'll just do it anyway so that you can see uh, how it goes. And that's us. I can pretty it up. Give that some bold text. Um, you can also, if you want, uh, put in something like a, a graphic in here. Just drag and drop a little uh, picture of your uh, character. And just, uh, you know, for your information, Highland Warriors didn't and never did look like this. So but it was just a photograph that I found off the internet. So that's really your first page. Um, you can carry on typing lots of text and information in there, um, but none of it really is used by Fantasy Grounds as such. The main part of the uh, class that you'll need to concentrate on is found in the other tab, and this is where the, the guts of the class can be found. Um, as you can see, it's split into different sections, so we'll just cover each one as as we come to it. So first of all, um, we are going to need to give the class uh, some hit dice. So we'll give this one a d12. You've got to put that in exactly like that, 1d12 per class level, or 1d10, whatever it is. Um, otherwise, Fantasy Grounds might not recognize it, so just make sure that you keep the wording the same. Uh, the second section is first level proficiencies and this is exactly as it sounds. These are the proficiencies that your character starts off with uh, when they are first created. Um, and again I've got some text that I'll just copy and paste in here quickly. So for armor we're going to give them light armor, medium armor and shields. Uh, we've got saving throws here. Uh, now these Again, you could make sure that the wording is correct. Uh, full, is, you know, STR won't work. So you need to strength, comma, dexterity, whatever. Uh, make sure that you keep the the wording as it is. You can also, if you want, you can click on this little icon here, bring up this little dialog box, and you can uh, paste or type your um, information in there. So it's just basically the same as just doing it straight in here. Uh, when it comes to the skills, you've got, uh, again, keep this wording correct. Choose two from uh, and a list of skills. Uh, there are various options here. If you look at some of the uh, classes in the uh, player's handbook, uh, if you look at the bard, for example, you'll see the skills there says choose any three. Uh, and if you look at, say, the rogue, it says choose four from. So you've got some options there but you can't really depart too uh, radically from the standard uh, wording otherwise Fantasy Grounds isn't going to be able to pick that up and you won't get the dialogue uh, box pop-up uh, for choosing the skills. So just make sure that your wording is correct here. 
Uh, tools proficiencies, well, naturally, um, he's a Highlander, so he must be proficient with the bagpipes. And um, we are going to give him uh, proficiency with uh, martial weapons only. Uh, but that is the first level proficiencies. That's it done. Um, we don't need to worry about that anymore, except, as I say, just make sure you keep the wording correct. Um, Multi-class proficiencies. Uh, when you multi-class, you don't get all of the proficiencies uh, necessarily from the uh, class if you were making as as if you were making it up for a, a proper first level class. So if you've already got two or three classes or two or three levels of something and then you're multi-classing into Highlander here, then you don't necessarily want to give the uh, character all the proficiencies that the Highlander class offers. So this is where you would be restricting the proficiencies that uh, such a multi-class character uh, can have. Uh, and uh, you'll see there's a list in the Player's Handbook in Chapter 6 of all the different classes and what restrictions they have. So in this case, um, we're going to restrict him to just shields in the uh, armor section. And just to show that it does work, we're just going to give him a choice of one, any one skill, if he multi-classes. Uh, we'll leave him with the bagpipes because, well, why not? And uh, we will just leave him with these martial weapons as well. So, so there you go. So the multi-class proficiencies then, if we multi-class this character, then those are the proficiencies that we'll get at the first level of, back of Highlander. They won't get all of the proficiencies that they would have got had they started off as a Highlander class. So the next uh, main thing then that we need to consider are the features. Uh, so we need to click on the edit list and then on the green add feature button. Um, and we basically pretty much just type in a list of the features. The first box that we type in is the level uh, at which this feature is granted. Uh, so let's give it first level and let's give him uh, a feature called Bloodlust. If we stop editing, we will get this little uh, icon which you can click on and this will bring up the dialog box for this particular one. And uh, we Again, we're just going to copy paste in some text. So this is just descriptive text uh, telling us what this feature is all about. Uh, in this case, the, the once combat starts, the Highlander's got to make a wisdom saving throw. And if he fails, then he rushes into battle. But he gets advantage on his attack rolls, but he doesn't benefit from any dexterity to his armor class. And then once the battle is over, he must make a DC 10 constitution saving throw or gain a level of exhaustion. Just something that, uh, you know, you might have in a class. And we can close that up and that's it. We don't need to worry about anything else in this box. We don't need to worry about specialization choice or specialization. We'll come to those later. So that's it. That's our feature. Uh, and then we can continue to add new features. So let's add another one, this time at second level. And uh, we're going to give him some healing. Uh, again, we just close that up, open this up. Uh, find our healing text and uh, copy it in and just paste it in there. And that's that's it. That's our healing. Um, we're going to give him uh, the full dice if he uses a, a hit dice after the end of a short rest. So that's just to make up for the uh, for the uh, bloodlust thing being a bit of a, a downer. So uh, in many instances, uh, in many character classes. Uh, at third level, uh, you get a choice of feature. And this is where the class specializations come in. So, again, we're going to start off with uh, this being at third level, and we're going to call it uh, a warrior path. Um, and basically, what this is going to do is allow the character to make a choice at third level between. Uh, two different paths. So we'll type, just put the text in, and as you can see here, we've got uh, a choice of between the mainlander or the islander. 
Now we need to tell Fantasy Grounds that this is a choice, this is a specialization choice. So this is where this little checkbox comes in. We need to tick that checkbox to tell Fantasy Grounds that we actually have a choice here at this stage. And when you drag in the third level of a warrior or a highland warrior, um, then a pop-up box will come up uh, displaying the choices that you have and you'll be able to choose one. So it's important that for this particular uh, feature that the specialization choice is ticked. So we know that we've got specialization, so if we come down to this uh, fourth or the, the final uh, section down here called specializations, um, then this is where we add these specializations in. Uh, so again, we click the brown button and then add a specialization. And we've got two, we're going to call them the mainlanders. Um, and the other one we'll call an islander. Uh, helpful if you spell it properly. Uh, and basically that's, that's it. Uh, all you're really looking at here are uh, headings. Uh, so if we go into the mainlander we come up with just a text box and so we can just uh, fill in this text box uh, with whatever we want. Um, it's again it's description only fantasy grounds isn't really bothered what you're putting in here this is just for purely descriptive purposes but I'll leave that window aside for the moment and then we'll put in a description for the islander uh, and again we've got some text just to pop in and, uh, and that's it and we'll leave that one aside too for the moment um, so we've We've created two specializations here, but at the moment they don't do anything because we haven't created any features for those specializations. Um, so now we should do so. So we go back to our features, go back to edit list and add um, a feature. And uh, again, this is third level. This is going to all happen at third level. And we're going to call this one extra damage. Um, in the extra damage we've already noticed it shows you the level threes there already and we're just going to take some text um, and it tells us that the uh, when the mainlander falls under the influence of his battle lust he deals initial 1d4 damage on every hit now we need to tell fantasy grounds that this extra damage is uh, a mainlander feature. So down in the specialization required box we type in uh, our specialization to which this particular feature is attached. Uh, so that's that. Mainlander's in there and you can see it shows that. And let's add a couple more. Uh, again level 3. We're going to call this one extra uh, hit. When our Highlander makes a hit uh, and he makes a successful attack, we're going to allow our bonus action to take a second attack. And again, this is going to be uh, a feat of the Mainlander specialization. So we've now got a couple of uh, Mainlander specializations here. So what we can do just to tidy this up so that, and, and so that the player gets a better idea of what uh, what's going on is we can uh, drag these little things in there, so the extra damage and the extra hit. Um, and we can just drag them in so that uh, the, the player can then click on these when this mainlander pops up and they will be able to link to the uh, things. But that's all you're doing here. You're just, um, you're just creating links so that the player can see the information. Uh, it's, it's not, the Fantasy Ground is not actually using that in any other way. Um, so let's add in one more feature, this time for the Islander. Again, we need to give it level 3 because this is what's happening. We're calling it Refined Battle Lust. And for this one, we're again just popping in some text. We're going to give this one. So instead of, uh, he, he's going to have a choice. Instead of um, instead of having to roll a wisdom saving throw, he can choose to go into battle lust um, uh, using a bonus action. Um, but he still suffers the uh, 
the exhaustion penalty if he fails a constitution strength uh, at the end of the saving throw at the end of the uh, combat. And at this one, we need to tell it that it's the Islander. Uh, again, make sure you spell it correctly. Right, so uh, we are effectively done. We have created some specializations. Oh, uh, the last thing we can do is just create a link on that so that uh, that all looks nice. And effectively we have uh, finished our character now. Uh, so all we need to do is to test it just to make sure that uh, everything is, is correct. So let's create a, a new uh, player our new character and drag in our first level of Highlander. And here we get our selection box popping up correctly, choosing two skills. So we'll just choose a couple of skills. Uh, we see down here that bloodlust has been added, athletics, perception, etc. That's all been added. So we see our skills, athletics and perception has been added correctly. The abilities have come in, the links are all there. Uh, all our tool proficiencies and our armor and weapons proficiencies are there. And on the main tab, our strength and dexterity saving throws have been correctly uh, updated. So it's looking good so far. In the second level, uh, healing has been added. And now when we add in the third level, we get our warrior path. Uh, let's choose the mainlander. And uh, so the extra damage, extra hit, etc. has been added in there. Um, the abilities are coming in. And again, when we click on Mainlander, and here's what I was talking about, it gives you these um, little pop-ups that the player can, can uh, uh, click on to see the extra information that uh, that is. So all of that uh, looks good. So let's just uh, test out now a, a multi-class character just to make sure that that's gone right as well. So we'll need another class. So let's uh, let's go into a class of barbarian. Uh, let's give us a first level barbarian. Collect a couple of skills, and now. Uh, the Highlander again. Now this time it's only allowed us to choose one skill because uh, we restricted that. That's our specialization. That's our um, multi-classing proficiencies. So we'll choose that. Um, we try again, again another level and a third level and we get our... Uh, so let's choose the Highlander this time. And there we go. Our abilities are all in there. We've got our Bloodlust. We've got our Healing. We've got our refined battle list from our uh, Highlander, uh, or sorry, our Islander thing, uh, and it's all there, all our proficiencies are there. So, uh, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, until next time, bye for now.